All right, folks, welcome back. Learning some lessons, getting some advice. Let's get our cut and buff on. Gonna step back from the bonnet a little bit, take care of this boot lid here. I uh, need to practice my technique a little bit. I got a lot of good advice. A couple viewers, uh, Eric Lar Lone Star Lowe's, who actually responded on the SPI form as well, and on the SPI form, a whole bunch of guys on there that I that I have come become familiar with and trust. Give me different techniques and, and stuff like that. One of those, if you can see way over there on the workbench, several different buckets holding each individual grit. Uh, instead of mixing all the grits together, that was one re recommendation so that the sandpaper doesn't kind of mix up and potentially get grits on it, plus a little bit more clean water per piece of sandpaper. So I'm going to, like I said, take my frustrations out here on the boot lid. Go ahead, clean this up real good, get all the dirt off of it, wax and grease remove it and all that good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and tape off the edges. That's another lesson learned that I actually knew and really shouldn't have had to have learned. And then probably pick up at about 1500 and go through. The biggest um, comment from, from the guys was essentially you're not working the scratches out before you move into the next grade of sandpaper. So again, this is you know something that's going to take practice. I just cross my fingers and hope I got more than enough clear on here to, to learn my lessons. Got the bonnet taped off here, the hinge areas, and then all the edges, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch or so from the edge. Sometimes it's about an eighth of an inch. Sometimes it's about three eighths of an inch. I didn't uh, didn't tape off around the the latch hole. I think that'll be okay. But so now I've got uh, 1500 grit. I'll bring over here. I'm going to do it by hand with a soft block. One of the recommendations that I did get on the SPI website was to use a hard block with the thousand grit because you're trying to knock the tops off and get the orange peel out. But I don't believe that I want to do that. I should have asked that question actually. I don't believe I want to do that with the with the higher grits. So I'm going to go ahead, wipe and uh, blow the panel down one more time, and then get and I'm going to do all hand sand. I'm not going to use the uh, buffer at all, and just try to get a feel for how stuff looks. That, that was another uh, recommendation. Just do it all by hand. So I uh, I'm going to give it a shot. So it's hard <laughs> to know what it's supposed to look like when you don't know what it's supposed to look like. So this is through 2000. I'm taking some gratification in the fact that this looks about as good as I got the 3002 on previously all by hand taking my time but you can kind of see hopefully like in there you can kind of see where it's a little bit darker red so that probably means that I need to go back and spend a little bit more time on that and there's another spot way over there by the edge so I'm going to go back and hit these hit these spots that seem to be a little bit darker. Um, I also broke out, if you remember, a long time ago, I bought these super fancy pads blocking out. I never did really use them all that much, but I've got one with a, with a real shallow angle there, and I'm able to get the crown of the, of the boot lid. I was getting nervous about, one, getting all of it, and two, burning through in one spot. I was getting a lot of um, like threading, I guess you could say. So I'm going to hit these couple more spots that are kind of dark with the uh, with the 2000 again, and then come back and uh, continue on to three. So hopefully it's it's doing something. different to me than it did and it doesn't really look a whole lot different to me than the fender arch did the the wing that I did in the last video so I'm gonna go back at it for a little while longer on the 3000 grip and see if I can get any better out of it 
maybe if you can see that line there, who knows, I might be fooling myself here, but it looks a little crisper, even though it's still cloudy, it looks a little crisper maybe than, than, the, uh, than the wing did the other day, like the outline of the lamp is, is pretty evident, whereas before it was maybe a little bit more hazy. So maybe that's a good sign. And I can see actually, you can't see it because it's too blurry, but I can see all the individual, that big bright lamp that I've got that's over there to your right. It has a bunch of little individual uh, LEDs on it. It's one of those chip on wafer lamps and I can see every individual little wafer I could count them if I wanted to. So hopefully that's a good sign. But I'm gonna take the 3002 and go a little bit more and then uh, cross my fingers and go for the buffing wheel. I don't think that made a whole lot of difference, but it is what it is. I can already tell that I think I'm going to have problems getting around this hinge here. And I'm more afraid of burning through by concentrating on that than I am of the subtle look that it's not going to be great. So you can kind of see the swipes in there. And I'm hoping that the uh, yellow pad's going to take it out. So that's next. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, one more thing. One of the guys on the SPI forum also said that essentially once they're, he's done with his 3000, he puts the buffer on it and within a couple minutes, it's, it's shiny. One, um, I don't think that's going to happen. Two, he uses a rotary instead of a DA. This is a, a dual action buffer instead of a rotary buffer. The reason I went with the DA buffer is because it's more forgiving and it's harder to wreck stuff with a regular rotary that's not, um, it doesn't give any relief. It's real easy, especially with wool, that's something that's real aggressive. That's usually what the guys that know what they're doing more than me will use first. Uh, I'm just afraid that that's gonna burn through. So don't wanna be doing that. Unfortunately, it's not really any better. If it might even be a little bit worse. There's some spots that are better than others. Um, that's pretty bad actually right there around that hinge. So I'm going to hit it again a little bit with that, with that same compound and the same rubbing, especially in here where it's obviously not looking so hot. Like I said, I was afraid around the hinge it wasn't going to be that great, but I was frankly hoping for uh, better results than this. So it's not too bad around the bend, which is interesting. So maybe that's, you know, maybe I just got to spend more time there because I would have had more pressure there. So I'll go at it again with the uh, yellow scuff pad or buff pad here and uh, see if I can get any better results. Kind of disappointed. All right, so I came back and hit it with the DA sander. This guy right here with the 3000 grit on it. And instead of looking like individual scratches, it's a lot more cloudy looking, which I think is hopefully a good sign. So I can barely see individual like scratches. Like I said, it's more of a cloudy look. Um, so I'm hoping that'll, that'll help me out here. I think I might do it a little bit longer with the 3000 and then come back at it again. But, but I think you can see it's much brighter than the, uh, than the wheel arch was with that 3000. So I think I'm gonna continue to work on it a little bit but uh, but I think this might be the way to go. I might even step down to 2000 with the uh, with the paper. So maybe you know maybe the trick is 1500 by hand until I can kind of get it into a little bit more of a safe zone where it's going to be a little less apt to burn through with the the higher grits and then come at it. So we'll see here. Well, I couldn't leave well enough alone, of course, so I went back down to 2000 and then brought it up with 3000 and I'm 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 done because I'm getting nervous that I'm not I'm going to start burning through like everywhere and I just I don't have quite the guts so there's some spaces still around the hinges and all that that are going to that are end up being a little cloudy but no very few scratches it's more of a cloud so I'm hoping there's some stuff in there but I'm hoping that uh, that the buffing compound now will be able to take it out it's nice and smooth I'll tell you that so we'll uh 
take the next step here and see how she works. Well, with the exception of the door that I did a while ago, this is definitely the best panel that I've done. So there's still little swirls in it. There's still scratches in it. But, uh, and there's still cloudiness around the hinges. But I'm happy with where this is. So this is post yellow pad. So I'm going to do the orange pad uh, and continue on with uh, the next level of um, buffing. And then I'm going to stop there or I'm going to keep going there. And I think I'm going to bring it all the way through the, uh, the white pad and uh, yeah, and stop there. So still can get better overall. I think still a matter of spending more time on the grits and just getting a feel for uh, for what scratches go to the next one and, and, and removing all the scratches, that's definitely the key, which, you know, that's what everybody's been telling me, but I'm happy with the way this is looking. All right, that's nice. I'm happy with that. A lot of those swirls, just about every one of them came out. Definitely not perfect. Definitely, definitely not. But uh, much better than the door. Uh, still needs a little bit, but what I'm going to do now is use the white pad with V36, and then I'm going to stop, because that'll be it. The V38 and, I, and the black pad, I think, is more of like final polishing, um, and I'm just, I don't want to go that far, plus it's getting a little late tonight. Being a school night and all, you notice too that I took off the tape, and if you can, you can just barely see, especially the light, the difference I'm happy to say that my panel that I buffed is shinier than the stuff that I didn't buff, so that's good. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the pad and try to pick that edge up and obviously be careful around there, but to try to kind of blend that in a little bit. And uh, and yeah, so this is, uh, this is working out really good. And again, back to what I thought, it's just a matter of spending the time and the appropriate grits to get the scratches out. Well, I had to put the letters on because, you know, I just, I just could not. So... One bad thing about the paint being uh, in nice shape now is I can tell all the spots that I missed and the waviness and the bond error in the boot lid, but you know what? I don't, it's fine. So uh, I'm really happy the way that it came out. The edges blended right in with that last pad and uh, you really can't tell any difference that I, that I taped it off. There's still scratches in there and, and everything and you know, it looks like a paint job instead of brand spanking new. It looks like a paint job that some guy who's never done a paint job did. So again, I'm, I'm really happy with the way that it came out. It's so good that the uh, camera's having problems focusing. You can see how wavy, though, that, that that overhead light is from all my uneven repairs in the boot lid. But you know what? It won't see the boot lid when I'm driving. All right, so that's all I got for tonight. I'll be back over the weekend. I'll revisit the, uh, the bonnet or pick back up with that wing probably and uh, continue on. So I've been here for almost five hours, so it's, it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely time consuming. I went that back and did some steps, so I'll, I'll be able to speed that up a little bit. But you know, this is uh, this is several visits here worth of worth of time. Welcome back. About 9:30, Saturday morning. Today, instead of working on the bonnet, I'm going to start at the back of the car, continuing on with the, my uh, success with the boot lid. So I've got to get everything taped off. Still got to get everything cleaned up. It's really dirty and dusty. Took the uh, took all the stuff off, all the lights and everything that I had on there, the rubber boot lid seal, all that kind of stuff. Now, because for whatever reason, my best paint job overall was with the body, which was my first one. I uh, I'm going to start less aggressive this time. So instead of starting with a thousand grit, I'm going to start with 1500, I think, and see how that works for me again with the uh, with the soft block. Also, places like in here are going to be tricky, right where you're where you've got tight room. So I've got. Uh, I got my door block collection right there. I'm going to select various blocks to be able to get in here. Also, this ledge here is going to be a little bit tricky, so I, I need to be a little bit careful. Uh, the places that are going to be covered, things like that, obviously I'm not going to worry about. I'm not going to block this out because that's going to be covered by the tail light, things like that. But I got to clean it up, tape it off. That's going to take a while. I'm going to tape this entire ridge off, unlike what I did with the bonnet over there, so I can make that, uh, protect that and uh, that's going to probably take an hour or so i guess to get this all cleaned up and taped but once uh, once i get that cleaned up that's the plan like i said take about an hour or so it's quarter of 10 or excuse me quarter of 11. got everything taped off the edges i'm not going to worry about the fender flares right now i don't think i'm going to get too close to them but we'll see i have some extra tape obviously if i need to tape them off 
but I did around the tail lights, these arches, as I said, this whole, this is where the top snaps in when it's up. I don't think I'm going to touch any of this at all. So yeah, I'm going to go to town here on sanding. Like I said, I'm going to start with 1500 grit and see how that goes. So I'm going to start on the passenger side here because the light's a little bit better and, uh, and go for it. First round through of 1500 grit by hand. Told you I'd show you those runs. You can kind of see them there and there. Not too bad. So most of it's out. Still got some orange peel in there. What I'm going to do now is take the, um, the rotary. I'm going to try to take these out by hand, actually, because that's a little close to the edge. But take the rotary and go over it with the rotary. Now, when I'm getting in this crease in here, it's getting dicey. And in here, it's getting dicey. And I'm afraid of the rotary in here because as I would try to make the corner, I'm going to pick up an edge. And I don't want to do that. But I should be able to get the vast majority of this. I also used one of my uh, one of my curvy guys here to get on the fender flare, and that kind of came out all right. There's still some stuff in there where I can feel some orange peel, and there's some uh, some drips and stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the DA and see how it looks when I'm done. Our 1500 is done. Move on to 2000 next. It definitely uh, definitely takes more time to get that 1500 set done than it does 1000. I think in the long run, I'm going to be better off because I don't have to worry about the 1000 grit scratches to get out. So next up is 2000. I'm going to use a little bit more of the rotary for this one because it's obviously less aggressive and a little bit less of a chance of um, burning through. So take advantage of that. And we'll see uh, after that how it looks. Going on about three hours of work here. Just got down the 2000, used the orbital for most of it and touched up the spots that needed it with, um, with hand sanding with a block. So it's looking, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's looking good. Not seeing really, again, scratches so much as like a haze. So I hope that's good. Gonna move on to the 3000 now again. Most of it's gonna be the DA sander and then the spots that, that need it, I'll come in with uh, doing it by hand. Well, I meant to record that 3000 for you. Oh, well, sorry. Kind of boring anyway. So you can see, hopefully, again, no real discernible scratches here, just more of a haze. Now, the only place that I am a little concerned that I'm going to hit again is maybe I'm not, whoop, I actually put you on camera here. I'm not going to, no, I can't really tell if you can see that, but there's a, a lighter, like white, right on the wheel arch and then in this crease right here it's a lighter white so my guess is that the sandpaper the, the 3000 didn't get in there and clean that up or hopefully not but the 2500 didn't get in there enough to clean it up so i'm going to hand sand with the 3000 in there and i'm going to just um, use the block probably so even though it's on curves it's only 3000 so i got a lot more uh, forgiveness and see if I can get that more of a uniform color with the rest, more of a uniform red. So we'll see. But that's uh, looking pretty good. I'm happy with the way that looks. I think that's going to buff out great. And we'll, uh, we'll see, I guess. All right, all that stuff came out. Next up is yellow pad with the V32 chemical guys stuff. And we'll uh, go to town and see how she looks. Well, scratches, shiny scratches though, happy with it. Looks better than the, uh, the bonnet portion that I did. So because of the amount of time I have left, I don't have enough time to do another panel. And I also am not going to go to the final uh, white pad. So I did the, the yellow pad with the V32 
and I did the orange pad with the V34, but I'm not going to go to the white yet because I like to pick up the edges that I didn't, you know, that I had taped off. And just because I have connecting panels, I don't want to untape uh, those things yet to grab all the edges. So anyway, so I think what next I'm going to do here is the bottom, the rear valance, and just start. I might step up to uh, 1200 grit this time instead of 1500 just to make uh, the transition, make it a little easier to get the, the orange peel out. I think I, uh, I spent quite a bit of time there with the 1500, even though it was easier in the long run, I think. I'm gonna give it a shot, see if it's, uh, you know, spend a little bit more time on the, a little less time on the 1200 than I did on the 1500 and then come in with the 1500 to clean it up. So we'll see how this works out. All right, this is hit with 1200. Um, 1200 was a little bit faster, not a lot, but enough to, to make it worth it, I guess. And, you know, I bought the sandpaper, I might as well use it. Uh, but I don't want to go to a thousand. So that's, uh, there's that. Don't think I need to. But in here, it's going to be tricky in these creases up in here. And I, I kind of touched in a couple places. So I'm just going to have to be careful as I go through one, not to burn and two, not to, uh, you know, to make sure that I, I get it. I get uh, sandpaper on it. I didn't want to tape that stuff off because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get to everything that I wanted to get to, so I might regret that. But I also got the ledge here. Not, not uh, didn't kill myself with it because a lot of it's going to be covered by the boot lid, but it'll be uh, it'll be nice and pretty when it's done. So, uh, like I said, only about 30 more minutes here, so I'll get it through probably 1,500 and then call it a day. All right, folks, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Hey, thanks for all the recent advice and resources to go look stuff up. I appreciate it. Coming through this stuff is uh, not very exciting, but sure does look good when it gets done. So thanks again. Have a good rest of your day. Cheers.